We are friends and servants of humanity. We are dedicated to the purpose of elevating the moral, social, and economic status of our people. We are dedicated. This is the Moral Science Temple of America he's talking about. We are dedicated to the moral, social, and economic status of our people. We are dedicated to that. We are dedicated to elevating them. Which means, like he said, there's enough for all to do. There's enough for all to do. We have set about to do this through a wide and comprehensive program embodying the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. We have set about to do this, elevating the moral, social, and economic status of the people through a wide and comprehensive program, a wide and comprehensive program, a wide and comprehensive, not just comprehensive, it's not just wide, it's wide and comprehensive. Why? Because this is the uniting of Asia. And the Prophet Nobujali came for all of the nations. He was among us because we were the most sick. But he came for everybody. So they shooting ups and all this type of stuff could cease. But can't cease because people are following the prophet. There's problems. The reason why there's problems is because people are not adhering to the lessons of the prophet. You don't know that he came and all that stuff. Don't even know that he came. A warning from the Prophet for all governors and grand sheiks and head officials of all temples. Renew your acts, amend your ways. <laughs> Right? Now, so, you know, you think you got away with something, right? You think you got away with something. Because remember, everybody gets individual letters, right? It's not no, um, you know, everybody gets their letter at the convention or whatever. Everybody's getting their stuff sent to them if they're ahead. If prophets sending out whatever, you're getting mail directly to you, right? So, you think you got something going on, you know what I mean, behind the prophet's back, you know what I mean? He's stuffing envelopes, right? And then you get one of these right here. For all governors and grand sheiks and head officials of all temples, so you don't know who he's talking to, but you know, he's, he's, he's obviously addressing something that happened, right? Renew your acts, amend your ways, because the great conference is on its way, and in it is where the law will be enforced before the great grand body. The continuance of the present officers in the temple will depend on your past good work. Those who have been delinquent may now know that they will not be tolerated any longer. 
Because this divine and national movement must move on according to law. These things shall be proclaimed. There is no favorite in any of the temples. For the law is laid down and everyone who claims a part of the work must be governed accordingly. All are one. There's no Ujwali. There's no favorites in any of the temples. For all those Moors out there who have gone to temples and you notice that they're catering or dealing in favorism, ones dealing with favorism. The ones pretending like they're the ones and over Juali and nobody else is qualified because Juali whatever. There's no favoritism here. There is no favorite in any of the temples for the law is laid down and everyone who claims a part of the work must be governed accordingly. All are one. There is but one temple in this nation. This nation? Hold on. There is but one temple in this nation. So he's recognizing that there is something called a temple, but the temple is in something called a nation. Oh, so that means temple doesn't stand on its own. Oh, so that means that there must be something that is superior to the Moor Science Temple. For all those people who want to play favorite, the Moor Science Temple, but don't want to mention Moorish Divine National Movement, Moorish Holy Temple of Science, All Canaanite Temple. Moor Science Temple was founded in 1913 and stuff like that, telling people BS. Right? And, you know, there it is. There is but one temple in this nation. It's not all these temples all over the place. There's one temple. Why? Because everybody has the same flag, same turban, same pin, same nationality card, same fez, same holy Quran, same divine constitution and bylaws, same oral statements, same Moorish guide, same Moorish literature, same circle seven. So everything's one. All are one. Same one-on-one -on -one questionnaire. All are one. And people want to pray like all is not one because well, those mores are all are one. Shut the hell up, dirty more. Don't try to pretend like we're the outsiders. Active civic-minded mores aren't the outsiders. Constitutional mores aren't the outsiders. The outsiders are the ones playing religious with this. That people think that because they have the building, they're more a science temple. <laughs> You've been fooled. That's just a sign on a building. They're not more a science anything. If they were more a science temple, they would do like what Canaan did. Open up their doors for anybody to belong to their stuff. If they were really about what Nobu Juali laid down. But clearly they're not. So that should let people know something. There is but one temple in this nation, and there is but one prophet of the temples. One prophet. No, you know, reincarnated and all that stuff. No Jolly slaughtered all that all those guys' stuff. They're still around today, pretending like they have some type of authority. When Noble Jwali said there's only one prophet for the temples. All the temples only have one prophet. All the temples are in one nation. And all the temples are only one. There's not no bunch of temples. I come to speak to all nations, bringing them a message of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. In the head of every temple, if anyone has violated these divine laws, it will mean his discontinuance 
For no man is to be under the influence of intoxicating liquors, nor to seek to tear up the families while under the influence of evil motive. Nor must he speak anything that will prejudice the minds of the people against the divine movement. If any of the laws are violated, any body, grand sheik or sheiks, can file charges against the violation to the grand body over which the prophet presides. This power is vested in seven or more sheiks of the protection of your temple and the divine movement. The prophet Noble Juali, founder of the Morris Science Temple of America. Praise Allah. Hello, Akbar. No. <laughs> no. Right, so all those stuff are just, you know, there's a there's a website. If you put in um so there's a website that the website's very confusing. Because when you click stuff, I don't know, it's just confusing. So what you do is you put in whatever um, body of work, um, as far as Nova Jwali you're looking for. So for example, you say, one-on-one questionnaire, Moorish tripod in Google. And then a page is going to come up, and there's Moorish tripod. And then when you click that, it's going to be like dark kind of, you know what I mean? It's, you know, it, it just looks like you're in space or something like that, you know, because it's black. And then, well, anyways, um, so you just put that in there and then you're going to get all the stuff that I'm reading. So it's a Moorish literature. Yeah, Moorish literature, Moorish tripod. The tripod site's going to come up when you click that. You're going to get all the stuff that I'm reading. Right? So questions, first question, oh, there's another Ramadan one, do more fast during Ramadan, me myself, I don't fast during Ramadan, I don't partake in Ramadan, every Saturday I fast, that's just what it has always been since being Rasta, that Saturday is Sabbath. So Saturday is not it's chilling Saturday. That's why Saturday, most times, I chill because I'm not supposed to do nothing. And that's year round, almost 30 days and then nothing. So, you know, 52 weeks, that's 52 Saturdays of fasting. I don't do, you know, there's people who do their water fast and whatever fast, you know, that's that's their Ramadan. Because, you know, we're, as Moors, we're not, we're not boxed in to certain, certain psychologies. You know what I mean? Like, we are extremely open-minded individuals. We are not in the box. That's why um, at one of the spots where I was working at, I mean, one of the teachers was saying, yo, like, it's like you're everything. You're a Buddhist, you're a Christian, you're, you're a goth, you're, you relate to everybody. Like, why not relate to everybody? Everybody has the same principles, really, you know. You deal, if you deal with them, we found that ain't no difference, you know. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll acknowledge Muslims, you know, partaking in Ramadan or whatever, you know what I mean? That's their, that, that's, that's their, their spiritual um, test, you know what I mean? That's their 40 days and 40 nights. That's what that is, you know what I mean? You know, it, it's, it's a higher... 40 days and 40 nights than the mundane stuff that they're looking at. Oh yeah, I did this for 30 days and I did my prayers and oh yeah, um, you know what I mean? We did it type of thing. No, it ain't, you know. It's, 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 it's for spiritual enlightenment, Ramadan. Strictly. You know, it's for spiritual enlightenment. This is not some 